Stephanie. First thing first, when my friends watch my video on YouTube, they say I look weird because I can't keep my focus to the camera and keep looking around like this or this. So I think I will try to fix that problem. In this video, you find me staring at you like this or this. Don't be scared, okay? I'm not trying to kill you or something. I'm just trying so hard to deal with my bad attitude, okay? So back to the main topic, how to store spice in powder. As you know, they are super helpful from simple to complicated dish. So today's video, I will show you how I store my spice in powder. If your spice in powder comes in bottles like this, I have here black pepper, forensic herbs, and cinnamon powders. Good for you, you can just store them effortless. But if you always mess up the kitchen like me, maybe this tip will be helpful for you. I don't know why, but I always love keeping the jam jars after using them. I think they are super cute and helpful. In this case, you can use them to store your spice in powder. Just write name tags on it so you can easily recognize them. I have here a huge jar of plant flour. After that, Hassan curry powder and also spice spice powder, which I found really helpful because they are really it is really Asian and you can do many things with it. I also have sugar. I always mess up the kitchen when I want to use sugar, so should be careful. And finally, ooh, tapioca powder. They are really helpful, especially in the case you don't have cornstarch or plain flour. Just use one teaspoon or two teaspoon of tapioca powder. They work pretty the same. So uh, yeah, tapioca powder is my favorite one. Yeah, so I think that's enough for today. I hope you find this video helpful. And see you in next video. Bye!